we are only three weeks away from the great Minnesota get-together, which is good news because it's always a ton of fun for us to do our shows out of the fairgrounds. The bad news, of course, it's a sign that summer is coming to a close. It's always difficult for us Minnesotans. A little bit of a mixed bag, but you know what? We're not going to throw in the towel, not just yet. We will continue to make the most of this summer, and no better way to do that than by grilling outside, right? Enter 12 Days of Grilling presented by the Minnesota Beef Council. Our summer series is back this year, all about the burger. Good Jack, this is exciting. Yeah, good to be here. 12 days of grilling, man. Can you imagine? The pressure is on you. On me. You to make a great burger, I'm number one. Just, you, I <laughs> thought so. You're the guy to come to. Chef Jack Rebel, owner of the Patty Shack at Halftime Rec in St. Paul, isn't letting a knee injury and crutches slow him down. Oh, no. He is a man on a mission to make the best burger. Okay, we're going to whip up a burger here that is loaded with flavor. This is Absolutely. not a bland burger no. by any stretch. Tell us about this. Well, the, I think the important thing, you know, we want to talk a little bit first about the beef. You always want yeah. to use a beef that has a high fat content. You're going to have more moisture. You're going to render a lot of fat on a grill anyway. Yeah. So the fatter it is, the better it is. And, you know, you can find some of the information about the nutrition and fat content at uh, minnesotabeef.org. Okay. Okay, they All do right. a lot of research on that for people like us. Um, what I like to say to people is don't add too much moisture. People tend to want to add a lot of soy sauce, we're sure things, and the more water yeah. and a lot of respects you're adding to your burger, the more you're, again, breaking down like the muscle and the fat, and you're not getting that flavor. Because the okay. burger really, in the end of the day, is all about fat, and you know, and fat's good. We're learning that fat's better and better for you. Just small amounts of sesame oil, fish sauce, and soy sauce are used, then some scallions, garlic, ginger sugar, and some toasted mushroom powder. Now, if you notice, one classic marinade ingredient missing, it's for darn good reason. That you don't really want to add salt to your burger. A lot of people make a marinade and they add the salt. So what we want to do is get as much umami flavor in there, that fifth flavor profile, sure. without having to actually physically add salt. Because salt actually begins to cure and dry your burger out by pulling the moisture out. So you want to salt your burger before you grill it, not when you mix it. Now, yeah. I'm the, at this point in the game, what I would be doing is I would just commit both of these Taking them right in there, to right? be mixing. Yeah. Why is he not doing that? Well, because your hands are actually warmer than the beef, so you begin to melt the fat that's in there. So what he's doing is protecting the fat. So you want to... Now, that's a real recurring theme so far, is first, start with a burger that's got a lot of fat content. Right. And then, don't do anything to mess with the fat content. Don't, yeah, you want to keep it going. Four great tips in one story. That's plenty, right? No, no, no. Chef Jack is on a roll, and I'm not getting in his way. One thing I, I really recommend, too, is you go into your pantry and you find these different dried ingredients yeah. that you want to create your own style, your own burger. You know, everybody should have their own voice. You want to test a little bit of it. So what Aaron's going to do here, he's going to pull a little bit out. We're going to fry it first and try it, because you don't want to commit to this yet. Yeah. Put your patty and push a little hole right in the center. Now, so I've been told that before, but I don't know what that's actually doing. Okay, so when you actually begin to cook the burger, the burger heats from the outside in, okay. and what happens is as that inside warms up, it pulls um, air and moisture into it. So by pressing it down, you prevent those meatballs like your mom used to yes. make. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yes. Okay, right. so let's try this. See what you guys think. And what should I be tasting for? Well, what your flavor is. Like, you want to make sure it's got enough seasoning. You want to make sure that you like the, the subtlety of it. Think? I think it tastes really good. <laughs> you did this all on crutches. Way That's to go. Do. 12 days of grilling. Thank Boom, it just started. <laughs> Man, that Jack Rebel knows his stuff. This the dude just knows how to cook. He, he, he gets really food. does. He understands yes. it. Chef Jack added the bulgogi burger to the Patty Shack menu just for the 12 days of grilling. So you got to stop in before Friday, August 21st, or you can make it at home. We've got the recipe on TwinCitiesLive.com. You can also download our recipe app on your phone. I have tasted that burger. No kidding. Not hyping it up for TV. It's just good. It looks outstanding. You can also find more recipe ideas for ground meat along with information on the beef backers on the Minnesota Beef Council website. Well, tomorrow we are heading to the bar.